Now here are a few closing exercises to get your hands to play march up properly. Besides practicing each of these tones separately, very slowly until they sound distinct, uh, you can also separate your hands. This is great for making sure your left hand is loud. This is what I would play as a left hand separated exercise. By practicing just the left hand march apart, I'll be able to focus on uh, getting these fingers back so the toe is loud. Because using our fingertips in this situation might be quiet. Bring them back, focus on that. That would be the left hand separation. Your right hand, you're going to separate and just play a slap and then the open tones, which are located on the and, and uh, the and of one, and then the last two sixteenth notes, or three, as it were. Okay, so this would be the right hand separation. What I'm focusing on is keeping my right hand relaxed, finding that sweet spot for the slap. When my hand comes off here, in the real march it'll be doing something else, but just lifting a little bit, it'll create uh, the open tone. And one final way to learn this, and it took me a long time to learn this, is um, by doing it note by note. I will start with one note of marcha, and then I will add two, and then three, then four, so you can see how it breaks down from beginning to end. So that's a great exercise, like parts of that were challenging for me to do just right there. This will help the sequencing of the tones, getting your hands to memorize um, kinesthetically what to do next. So give that a try, uh, practicing marcha note by note, building it up. In closing, a few things to keep in mind with marcha, listen to great players. Listen and watch and see some of the greatest players you can, so you can really hear that sound. Okay, so players like Giovanni Hidalgo, Mongo Santa Maria, just any of these great players have a great sound for marcha. It's just a prerequisite for being a great Afro-Cuban percussionist. So check players um, who are pros out like that. Um, and practice it super slow for a long time. That way your brain has time to memorize the sequencing. And even, you know, you just play on your legs if you wanted to. Uh, so if you're sitting on the bus or in the car or something, you can play on your legs, memorize that kinesthetic feeling. So having great time like a drum set player, making these tones different, will make this section really groove from 36 until the end.